in previous video we talked about how to use the tensor reshape and transpose operation to do some operations on that uh, on any any kind of images or any kind of tensors now in this video we will talk about how to do the element wise operations in on on tensors so this is very basic stuff actually to deal with so let let's start with so initially we will see how to use the how to do the basic arithmetic operations then we'll move on to do some other stuff now to explain this one let, let's take a couple of tensors let's say i have this 2 by 2 by 4 matrix is nothing but a 2d tensor over here correct and let's give it a name called x and we have another matrix or tensor 2 by 4 tensor so let's name it as y now when we talk about element wise operation in on tensors that means it it will always work on corresponding elements let's say the first element the first row first element is one for x correct and the same corresponding elements for the first row and the first column is zero for y now when we talk about element wise operation so that means we will be always talking about the element wise like the corresponding element wise operations that means there there could be multiple oper element wise operations possible for tensors like the summation the multiplication the subtraction so but always it works at the element level so let's say i wanted to do i wanted to sum x plus y now it will produce a another 2d tensor with this one if you see it each and every element this one is coming from this 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 one plus zero correct and if you see it this this one plus zero if we just sum it it will be becoming one similarly if you just sum this seven plus nine we will get 16 so i think you got the idea like what element wise operation we talk about and if we just talk about in terms of mathematics so mathematically you can define a function which takes two real value let's say this is these two are real valued tensor over here two real value let's say one and zero or seven and nine and it will produce another real value here okay the output one plus zero is one seven plus nine is sixteen so that is what it is now if i just if we just mathematically tell each and every element of x is as xi each and every element of y as yi and each and every element of this of this summation x plus y as ci then this function is actually nothing but ci equals to xi plus yi and if you see the subscript i is actually important over here that is basically telling us the corresponding elements that means if i equals to one that means i'll be always talking about the first row first element of x and the first row first element of y as well now similar to this summation operation we can also do the subtraction element wise multiplication now this is important uh, when we talk about matrices or tensors there could be two type of multiplication one is element wise something like this this element wise whatever we have seen it for summation so you can do element wise multiplication as well there are another concept called matrix multiplication so which we will be seeing it later that is the matrix multiplication and which is completely different from this one this element element wise multiplication here we can do the division we can do the exponentiation as well like x to the power y that means 1 to the power 0 2 to the power 5 something like this one now we can do something like e to the power x as well so what what this will be doing it so as x is this particular tensor right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so e to the power x means e will be applied so this e to the power each and every element of x will be applied on this over here to the power e okay so that is how it will be now if you see it over here this particular operation we are if we are having a function called e to the power x right which is taking a single value and producing a single value here so that's why this type of operation some calls unary operator or this type of operators are called unary operators and here if you see like all the summation subtraction element wise multiplication we always need two inputs right that means we always need two tensors here so these are called 
binary operators now if you carefully see it here one thing is very much important and common in all of this binary operations over here is the tensors has to be same shape that means if my x is 2 by 4 tensor y has to be 2 by 4 tensor then only we will be we will be able to do this stuff now there is a way this is called broadcasting mechanism which we will be seeing it in the next video to see that like if these tensors are not in same shape as well we can do some certain operations that we will be seeing it in the next video okay but to just for this particular video so to apply this this binary operators we, the tensors has to be of same shape now let's move on let's talk about another operation you can do is called concatenation operator now here it is very simple actually let's let's start with the similar tensors we are having it x and y now when we talk about concatenation that means as the name suggests we are concatenating two tensors here correct so in that case the axis is very much important and in the previous video we talked about different axis of the tensors we talked about very much like we talked about i think 5d tensors as well there right so for tensor x so this is my zeroth axis and this is my first axis here correct so when you talk about concatenation we basically specify two things here okay one is what are the tensors we need to concatenate in this case it, we are we are trying to concatenate x and y let's say and along which axis we need to concatenate that's why this concept of axis is very much important here so let's see an example like how we can concatenate this x and y along some axes like let's say 0 and 1 axis suppose we want to concatenate x and y along axis 0 that means what are my what are the vectors we have along axis 0 we have this 1 2 3 4 we have this 5 6 7 8 this is for x and for y it is 0 5 8 6 and 4 2 9 1 right now it will be something like this one so if i just mention i want to concatenate along axis 0 so my x will be as is correct because these are the this is my whole x tensor now how y will be attached to x concatenated to x so y will be coming here something like this one because see this is the z we are trying to concatenate along axis 0 correct so that means all the 0 axis level vectors will be attached to this x whatever x we have it here correct now when we talk about axis 1 wise it will make more sense now so if i just wanted to concatenate along axis 1 so this is my axis 1 right so my vectors are like this 1 5 2 6 3 7 4 8 something like this one so that means it is very easy now the tensor will be attached side by side in this case right so my x will be like this and then my y will be on its side not up and down so this is how the concatenation operation works and if you see it here as well it is very much important that the tensors needs to be on same same shape let's move on even we can create binary tensors as well using some logical operations let's something like this one so same same about x and y we can do something like this one let's say x double equals to y or not equals to y and it will be creating a tensor something like this one if you see it it will basically match whether this guy and this guy corresponding elements are same or not based on that it will create this true false and this is called a binary tensor because it holds the binary values here and even here also it is very much important that the tensors needs to be on same shape because i am stressing on this one because in the next video we will try to see how to use the broadcasting mechanism when the tensors are not in the same shape in that case so now let's let's see a couple of examples here using numpy so let's import numpy here import numpy as in p okay so now let's create our x and y tensor as we have seen our ppt so x tensor is numpy dot 
array we have seen this before how to create a tensor so this is a, having a shape called two fold correct that means it is having two columns sorry two rows and four columns so we can have two array elements here okay so first one is one comma two comma three comma four as we have seeing it over here then the second row will be five six seven eight right so five six seven eight so this is how you will be creating our x so if i just see the x here so it is something like this one and if you just see its shape x dot shape so it will be something like this one two four two comma four here similarly let's try to create our y here as well so y and let's try to create the same elements 0 5 8 6 4 2 9 1 so it will be 0 5 8 6 and then 4 2 9 1 4 2 9 1 here so this is my y even y and if you see it here so this is my y and if i just see it shape it is 2 comma 4 as well so we can now some write something like x plus y which will be doing the summation operation whatever we have seen it here in this particular slide right so now even we can do something like x multiply y and if we just run it it will be doing the same element wise multiplication over here as well if you see it, this element is 10 for y it is 5 and for x it is 2 okay that's why it is 10 this is element wise multiplication so this is different from matrix multiplication we will we'll see it matrix multiplication in future videos as well okay so now this is this is the normal element wise operations even let's try to see the concatenation so x plus sorry so in concatenate you have to do something like numpy dot concatenate then you have to give x and y here and you need to give the axis name as well along which you want to concatenate just like we have seen it in our ppt so it will be like up and down this these two arrays will be concatenated so this x so this x and y will be up and down here okay and the same stuff if i just do it along axis one it will be on side by side as we have seen that here correct now similarly if i just give x double equals to y so it will be creating a binary tensor if you see it here okay with this true false value here now let's try to see what if i create a y which is a different shape so let's copy this one here and let's create another element here let's say i'll just repeat this one as well okay now if i just see the shape of y y dot shape so it will be 3 by 4 now okay it's not 2 by 4 now now if i just try to do x plus y and if you just try to run it if you see it numpy is giving me error operands could not broadcast together with shape the broadcasting mechanism we will see it in the next video that's why this this term actually i introduced in this video only okay so you will receive this kind of error when they are not in sh same shape over here similarly if i just wanted to concatenate x and y this is very much important and interesting as well so let's try to concatenate along axis zero let's see whether we are receiving any error or not we will not because the y the second is the second dimension is having a four values that means there are four values over there in this particular vector for x else also the second dimension is the four over here so when we do the axis wise axis zero wise concatenation that means 
our vectors will always have these four values here because we are basically concatenating row wise and both x and y are having four elements in their rows that's why this concatenation concatenation was successful but it will you will definitely receive error when we will try to concatenate based on axis 1 okay if you see it here it is having the same it is basically saying the for the concatenation axis must match exactly okay because for the x the axis wise if i just see the x over here the axis one wise vectors are one nine sorry one nine seven eight right it is having two elements but when we see the y it is having three elements here right so if i just print the y over here and run it it is having the three elements over here because i have added this one this extra over here to change its shape over there right so this is how it will be behaving and similarly if i just wanted to run x double equals to y in this case you will receive an, an interesting error it will be it will be doing giving you something like this one deprecation warning element wise comparison failed this will raise an error in the future so this is something like this is actually trying to tell you these two tensors are actually not in same shape okay so this some some warning it is giving us replication warning but don't be confused with this one so whenever you will be receiving this particular warning it is actually trying to tell you these two tensors are actually not in same shape it is not able to do this particular operation there okay so hopefully we have we got a good idea about how element wise operation looks in tensors and and i think this is a very basic one we started with reshape and transpose which are more more complicated than this one in the next video i'll be talking about how to do the broadcasting mechanisms okay see you in the next video